Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. Today we are continuing the Japanese campaign here in Hearts of Iron 3. I continued my uh, Shogun campaign, which is obviously quite Japanese as well, earlier today, which was fun. So you can say it's a bit of a Japanese sort of themed Friday. It's in fact Saturday for me, so what am I talking about? But for, for many of you out there, it's uh, still Friday, so uh, enjoy it while it lasts. I can tell you the future isn't looking that much better. Um, anyway, so uh, the battles are raging on. Um, it's not much else to say. Um, let me take a look at the things here. I'm going to take a look at the map, in fact. Weather map mode looks pretty much basic. Uh, Intel map mode. Revolt risk. Diplomatic. Yeah, the boys up here quite like me. Why are these red? Ooh, I'm at war with them. Alright. Alright, I'm at war with the Axis. I don't know when they declared war on me, but that's apparent and uh, that's how it is, so we have to stick with that. Look at that. Serbia and Croatia. That's quite cool. Alright, so uh, Bulgaria has not yet joined the Axis. They probably will. Hopefully not. Uh, they've not. Well, the nationalists, Spain, or the, the Spanish nationalists have not yet decided to defeat, or uh, the decided. The, well, they probably haven't decided on that either, but they haven't managed to defeat the uh, Spanish um, Republicans in Madrid. Interesting enough. Everything else is flowing on, it seems. The one on the Eastern Front runs quite as expected, to be honest. The Germans are winning. It's not a massive lead, but it's quite what you'd expect. Uh, as well, I'm not really giving them a hard time on the Eastern Front, am I? So they can move everything they have to the left, uh, to the west. So I should be drifting towards the common turn, which is good. In fact, I'll go ahead and align myself towards the Allies as well, and I'll just end up with a good one. No, I'm not off for Alliance. Uh, align to Faction. There you go. People never accept anything in these games anyways. People are fucking stubborn idiots. Okay, the Chinese have spread out a bit. Uh, the rest is looking pretty much the same. Wait a minute. They should be able to break this and take those regions. How many are these? Four. Two there and two there. Quite a bit too late now, isn't it? What's this? Strategic bombing. That's great. That's great. So, we have no fuel. That sucks. But at least we don't need to spend any money on production anymore. I've decided to cut the production for now. And just aim to to, uh, to go for as far in as possible. 2.5 million men. Not bad, not bad. Now that they've taken more ground here, they've they've been forced to spread out. Which is exactly what I wanted them to do. So it's great. Everything's working, so to speak. And where are these guys' headquarters? Ah, they're down there. There they are, to be precise. Fine. You attack. See what you can make of it. 18, 19, 21, 22. Looks like we'll win that. <coughs> yep, we we got it. Good job, good job. I'm gonna use all these guys as one massive force to just push in and break break through. That's all really. Um, pushing them back here, yeah, they've really decreased in size. I gotta say, we might be stacking them back here or somewhere else, but don't know what's happened. We must have defeated them. That would be the the best thing, not to have them running, but for me to actually roll over them and crush them. Uh, we've lost a bit of ground down here, but we're pushing up in here, which is great. Staying quite passive down here as expected. Looking pretty ordinary, so to speak. I wonder if we can take this, though. Very uncertain of that. Ooh, looks like the Manchuku guys are storming in here. That's great. That's great. Now I'm definitely going to have to keep these guys here and uh, just uh, wait with the upgrades and everything. They're not really suited for combat, as it is. Not the feeder. 
I'm fighting the bloody fear. If you if you could put it in that way. Formation of Menguko. Not quite yet. It feels like if I form Menguko again, it's just gonna get taken by the 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 commies down here, so I'm just gonna keep on fighting for now. Two point forty five million, that's not bad. I wonder what the Germans have at this time. Not to speak of the Russians. Taking some land here. Looking pretty standard, to be honest. Black Eyes has actually managed to execute a fairly realistic World War II uh, profile this far. With the oh, the Greeks are holding this. Uh, unlike in many other scenarios when you play this game without the mod, it just fucking takes a shit on itself and doesn't do anything. Persia and Iraq. Afghanistan. Monstrosity of India, which is a very large country. Cool little border here between Saad and Jasheng. That'd be a one, sort of like a 300 Thermopylae fight. <laughs> Definitely gonna break that guy off right now, he's alone in there. Should be a fairly simple task. Nope. Fucking unorganized pleb. That's how it is. We've got no fuel, so. Transporting is pretty slow right now. Probably that's why we're not making too much of a progress. It's probably in fact why we've had to pull back over here. Why the fuck are we losing so much fuel? German took Greece. Alright, first of all, you gotta stop managing my stuff because later on I'm gonna be forced to to do my own little management with all you guys anyways, so it doesn't matter for now. That should make them better troops. Yeah, definitely. 6-6 six, six is better than 5-4. So that'll have to do. Oh, they've really pushed in here. Yeah, they, the Chinese, they've they've kept oh, the big stack back here. That's, that's all they've done, really. Okay, here. Some other things. Liberia. Perhaps not the most interesting country in the world at this very moment. But everyone plays their part. Yeah, the Chinese have definitely got a lot in stack here. If we can cut them off over here, that'd be great. That's what my troops are going to focus on. Yeah, the, the, the Chinese troops here in Dalian are screwed. And hopefully the Manchukuo boys will move on. Call to arms. Yeah, that puts them at war with Germany. That's, that's good enough. What's this? Kalkin Gold accident. Is this with Mongolia? Yeah, Manchuria was a part of the state of Japan and is Manchukuo. So we had a border between Manchukuo and Mongolia. In contrast, Mongolians and their Soviet allies maintain that border uh, ran some 16 kilometers east of the river. The incident began on 11th of May. Mongolian cavalry unit. Cavalry fights start to put troops in the area. That's kind of bad, because then my opinion with the Soviet Union is changed by minus 10. I mean, they're not going to hate me, but they, they won't love me, if we put it that way, if you know what I mean. <coughs> Romania's taken a lot. They're going to take Odessa, and they're probably going to aim to take Sevastopol. Okay, that's uh, expected. Everything's going according to the plans. Switzerland staying out of the whole thing. Spain still hasn't been able to take Madrid, that's funny. Koreans have built up quite the army right now. Look at that. Yeah, it's always nice to have some Koreans with you. Look at that. Proud. What do you say? It's, it's nice. It's nice and ill. These guys should be arriving up here. Yeah, we've locked them off completely. That's sweet. So there's one, only one territory separating them right now, or th there's only one territory that's th yeah they just got taken. Uh, one Wafangdian. I, w I wonder if it was my marines that uh, made most of them return here, so now they're all locked in Dalian. Probably was. Oh look at that. Yeah, they got a lot of troops in there, so they're gonna try and retake it. So we gotta push on it. Make sure they can't. 
Okay, so we need more fuel and metal, so I'm going to go with a resource focus. Yes. That should help us uh, get more of that. Which is surely what we need. It's our utmost highest priority at this very moment. Soviet Japanese Neutrality Pact. Yes, propose them. Ah. Good. Now we're almost friends. Almost completely friends. That's great. Whew. The last thing I'd want right now is a war with the Soviet Union. You know, a war with Germany already is bad enough, but it would only get worse if the, the Soviets turned on us as well. Convenient to them to rebel right next to a garrison. <laughs> yeah, they got the troops down here. Okay, understandable. Oh, we took Shang Tsa. We need to take Shang Dei. And then ultimately Shang King. Yeah. Using that fuel again now again. You know, here's what I've said myself said to myself. If I don't see any major progress, or if I don't see any major change to the battlefield before we're talking 1942, beginning of it. Then I'm going to have to call this off, because the Chinese are holding their flanks quite heavily right now. I mean, I'm noticing a bit of a change, but it's kept this kind of same figure, fig, 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 figure for a very long time. And the Chinese have just buffed up, returned home and buffed up. That's all they've done. That's all they ever do. Looking good. Ah. Inventory, unit command, and control advance. That's good. So the ooh, you see the revolt, revolt risk is quite higher high here in Japan. So I'm gonna go to intelligence. Put this on AI control and see what they can do do about it. Perhaps raise the um, counter spionage priority. Ah, Dover convoy. Yes, here's where we're taking the hits from the Germans, unfortunately. But down here, this is our turf. We won't be seeing any of theirs. Down here, this is great. Should we even be trading a lot with the Americans? I don't know why the Atlantic or the Pacific gives me major FPS bugs. Or FPS issues. What just fucking happened? Oh, we're all sailing across the map here. There we go. A little too much to handle. Oh, we took Shangde as well. Good, good, good. Here's a problem, though, when they send out, like, one guy to take a, an area. He retreats immediately and leaves the place. Like, no, it's not It's not my problem. <laughs> yes, it is your problem, mate. Okay, <laughs> are we attacking that area? 47. 62. Uh, they really have no navy here, so they won't be able to pick any of this up. Which is why I would love to just destroy them. Keep pushing for it. They have no land forts. There's no river. Just straight in city assault. Come on. 64. Some more rebels. Well, deal with them, right? Deal with them. Ah, finally, they're sending down troops here. Manchuka's sending down a massive amount of troops. Now that the majority of the problem has been dealt with over here. 64. Come on, they got to run out of fighting spirit sometime, right? Come on, boys. We're talking... 100,000 versus 30,000. About to be lowered and hired on, e on either side. 108, 30, 29. Yeah, they're losing this. 71. Hopefully it stays at that. They can't really get any reinforcements anyway. Because my, my navy controls the whole sea. Seventy-seven. More natural decisions. I'm not going to form Manguka quite yet. I feel like I, I want the territory myself. Makes me feel a lot bigger. Definitely feels good. Finally getting some more fuel. That went down instantly. Oh, there's not much left here now. Come on, guys. What's this? On 27th of June... The Japanese launched an air attack. This Japanese 2nd Air Brigade struck the Soviet airbase at Tamzak Bulak in Mongolia. Ugh. Declare full war. Launch the attack. Don't. Don't. You don't have to. Why would you Why would you want to declare war on the Soviets all of a sudden? It's, you know, it's programmed by the, by the game, but at least it lets you not. They're down to 16,000. They lost half their manpower in a matter of a couple of days now. 
city is falling slowly. Yeah, they have nothing here. They have no air support. No supplies. It's a, it's a gruesome battle. And it fell. Bam. Oh, interesting enough. At the same time... Ooh, Soviet Russia and England or United Kingdom annexed parts of Persia. Pfft. Interesting. But odd. Remind me not to zoom out so much, because it gets really fucking laggy after a while. Oh, so anyways, let me see what I mean. Auto saving. Of course. <coughs> Rather have auto saving on, it's a lovely feature than uh, just randomly crashing now and then. Which I hope I haven't done, by the way. Really, if I. There we go. Great, staying at this level now. Yeah, the, these guys have sent in lots of troops. It's really looking like it's going in our direction right now. Oh no, we lost Guangzhou. Horrible. So now these guys are going to be put to use. Dalian is ours again. Thank God. We're just going to push here in here for the communists as well. Take most of their stuff. Do our best with that. So the communist Chinese have always been a problem. They've they've always been fucking cocky all over the place and just causing a lot of trouble. Can't stand them anymore. Chasing towards allies. Yeah, that's good. I like that. These areas have always been tricky. To attack, defend, to jump back and forth. Always been tricky. Ooh, we're losing ground over here. That's bad. We really can't get pushed out in the ocean here. That is a no-go. Definitely not. We have to retake Guangzhou. Definitely hold it this time. Stop focusing on that shit and focus on what really matters. There you go. Great. That looks looks totally acceptable. We'll speed things up to see what we end up with. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer that they took that, but we managed to cross the river with some troops. And uh, look at the stack over here, and that should be enough to take take this back. Seems like we're not being too aggressive, though. Not seeing all too much of a difference, to be honest. I'd really hope for more of a difference. These guys can hold out here. Look at that, we're actually gaining fuel now. A bit. It's being used a lot, of course. It's always important. We have no crude oil, now no fuel again. Barely any metal. So, it's, it's a tough situation, to be honest. But hopefully we can surround the Soviets, or the, sorry, the everything that's red in communist, I, I say Soviets. Hopefully we can surround the communist Chine Chinese again. And uh, keep it at a good level. Hold, keep them surrounded for the time being. Oh, the Germans have made really far in, in a very short time. Look at that. They've almost... Oh, shit. They've almost hit Moskva. Moscow. Oro's not been taken yet. Tula. Kursk. Rohens. Minsk. Kharkov. Stalino. <laughs> rostov na -Don, Stalingrad. Saratov. Korki. Leningrad. Smolensk. Yeah, Bjarnsk. Homel, Minsk. <sighs> Nasty fighting went down there. Kaunas, Lvov, Krakow. Yeah, Poland's out of the game, unfortunately. 
in Romania, yeah, they've made a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good way into the Soviet Union here. They're definitely going to control the, the Black Sea as, um, as um, previously in the Canadian Let's Play. It's all up to these guys here now. And now that the uh, Manchuku guys have arrived, should really help us out a lot. Really looking forward to the cooperation between us. Gurkling Gold ceasefire. Sign the ceasefire. Not declaring war on the Soviet Union once again. I thought my AI would have understood that. But once again, I really love the fact that they give you a lot of options and, and, uh, and events. It's really keeping it entertaining. Okay, the Great Patriotic War. The fascist invader may have driven deep into the Soviet Union, but the Red Army and Red Navy are self-sacrificingly disputing every inch of Soviet soil. So now they're hopefully going to try and push back, but I, I doubt they will. It's it's a little too early. We're going to have to wait till 1942-3. Perhaps 1943, I'd say, until they push back. What we need to take is Yan'an. Because that's their sort of main head place. But right now we're keeping them quite contained, which does me just fine. Yeah, definitely. Great job, great job. Down here, the Manchuka boys are arriving. That's good. Mm, perhaps they've been a bit pushed back here. But hopefully we can push them back down here. This is very important. My guys don't seem to be too... How should I put it? Straightforward. Oh, they're on defensive stance, attacking stance. Seek seek out to engage your enemy and take them out. Okay, we've been pushed back down here as well. Yeah, they completely pushed us out of Gangzhou. That is very worrying, to be honest. Hopefully we can push them back with the help of some troops. Frack has been accepted into the Axis, that's pretty bad. They generally never join the Axis, but uh, it's always nice with something new. <coughs> All right, so um, there we go. Push them back over here. Yep, good job. So hopefully we can branch out down there as well. That would be the uh, utmost perfect thing and the best thing to happen right now. Uh, not seeing any major sort of advances right here. They're just attacking back and forth, but they're not really getting anywhere, which upsets me a bit. Perhaps I'm the one that needs to prepare for more landings down here. I don't know what they have down there, but I'm definitely going to use every inch of the coast. See, um, ask for transit rights. Impossible. See, um, fuckers. Fuckers. Burma, though. Yeah, if I join the Allies, if the Allies invite me, well, I would have a great chance. Because uh, then I could land troops in Burma and India. And attack that way. China would be s fucking s fucked. If that happened, they would. So that's what we can hope for. That's all I want for Christmas. Militia's taking Dalian. How entertaining. Hopefully the Machuca boys can go down there and deal with that. Otherwise they'll just stay. Stay within rebel control. Uh, finally getting the fuel up. Crude oil is looking pretty bad, but I guess that's nothing we can do anything about at this very moment. I mean, everything's being used for the boats, the the, the transportation of supplies and, and everything. So a full-scale war going on here for a very long time, so it will drain our drain our resources to say the least. down here is quite in the shooter to be honest. Heaviest combat going down in the southern coast. It's a bit more calm further up. So about the kind of slideshow of pictures that we got going now it's this game is immensely intense. You know what kind of a rig I've got but this game just fucking 
shreds everything to pieces after a while. There's so many units and so many calculations to do that gets insane, really, it does. Come on. There we go. So they're taking things back, the stubborn bastards. Just give in. Peace with communist China, unlikely. They denied that. Fine. 